Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Yorgos and this is the Avboat. A couple of weeks back, a company called Bateria Power contacted me and asked me, are you interested in trying out our new solar charge controller? We saw your videos that you have done the testing on solar panel and solar charge controller earlier. So we liked what you're doing and we would want you to put our charge controller to the test. You know me, I cannot say no to a good challenge. So I told them, send me over the product and I'll give it a go. I went to the post yesterday and I picked up the product that Bateria Power sent me to test. So here we go. It's the 20 ampere, 12 or 24 volt charger, depending on what solar panel you are having and battery, of course. And uh, let's do the unboxing together. One more thing, obviously I have uh, installed already all of the solar cables in my boat. They are permanently installed. So I didn't want to be taking any, any things out. So uh, they also uh, obliged and uh, they sent me uh, a set of uh, solar cables which uh, this is the really interesting part because I, I really love the way that this works. Uh, you have your MC4 uh, connectors on the one side, but then you have the XT60 uh, connector on the other side. And uh, what that means is that if you buy this cable from their store, where you will find uh, the link in the description below, uh, that you can get this cable connected to your solar uh, panel. And then if you have a solar power bank, you can connect this directly here. Now, uh, because in my case, uh, I will be uh, doing it a bit differently. What I did, I went to the store and I have bought uh, the uh, male version of the XT60 connector. So the way that I will be using it is that I will be connecting this like that. And what I will be doing then is that I will be soldering the cables here. Now, let's look at the solar charge controller that battery power has sent me. A disclaimer before we uh, look at the product, I have not received any payment to do this review. Uh, obviously, they sent me uh, the uh, controller plus the cable uh, for free. Uh, and uh, I have also put a link in the description below. If you are interested in buying any of their products, I will get a, a bit of a kickback. But we will get uh, back to this a bit later. So let's look at the actual product and uh, let's do an unboxing, unboxing together. And here we go. We have the box. And when we open it, we can see that we have a user manual and then a quick start guide. You can see all of the connections that are required for the solar charge controller. So here is the product. This is the solar charge controller. You can see those uh, quick release SAE connectors. Uh, we have the input from this side and output from here. So basically what this means that uh, this part will be connected to the solar panel and this part will be connected to the battery. Uh, talking about batteries, this has support for gel batteries, AGM batteries and lithium ion phosphate batteries. And in here you can also see the state of charge uh, and uh, if we look at the back in here, you can see more of those details. Now, continuing with the unboxing, uh, we have uh, some screws. Uh, if you want to mount this uh, charger permanently somewhere, uh, for my use, because uh, my intention is to be uh, using it at my uh, my intention is to be using it uh, on my boat. I, I don't want to have it permanently installed anywhere. I mean, one of the major uh, pluses for the solar charge controller, it's super, super light. It's mobile. So what you can do is uh, have the provided cables, which are then 
uh, again SAE quick connector from uh, one side and then you decide what you want to connect on, on this side and I will be showing you uh, exactly how I am planning to use this. So we get those two cables, we get the screws and then we have a polarity uh, change in case uh, your uh, solar panels are uh, not uh, uh, providing the positive and negative in the way that it is provided in here which is normally what you see from uh, from the uh, solar cable normally this is uh, the positive that goes to the uh, solar panel and this is the negative if then that uh, polarity is reversed you get this little uh, adapter in my case everything is uh, according to what you see in here so i'm not going to be needing this and now the cables are ready so this is what i have done for the battery connection and this one is for the solar panel so this is how it works And you can see negative to negative, positive to positive. So I'll stop here for today because as you can see, or possibly you cannot, that it's a rather cold, rainy and cloudy outside, but everything is ready. So once the weather improves, I'll head out to start doing the testing. See you soon. It's the next day and uh, now I'm at the garage and uh, the weather is uh, quite promising there is quite a bit of sun and uh, i have actually connected already the battery power uh, charger and guys it seems that it's doing a really really good job uh, i the installation is like super super easy uh, once i have uh, connected the battery the uh, the, uh, the quick release connector is super easy to use so I'll show you what the weather conditions are and uh, then we'll see how the setup is and uh, what uh, uh, is the uh, amperage that we are getting currently. And obviously that is not enough. What I want to do is uh, also check the amperage that the battery is getting directly. So I will check uh, from the Bluetooth version since the uh, charger that I'm using is non a non-Bluetooth version, so I cannot check it from there. And also I'm planning to connect my multimeter and see the real amperage uh, that uh, uh, we are getting from the charge. So let's uh, look at uh, uh, the setup and the weather conditions. As you can see, uh, the sun is uh, in a pretty good spot and the solar panel is getting a pretty good uh, view from the sun. Now, let's look at the solar charger. You can see that I have set it up already for the lithium battery. Uh, it is now charging, uh, it's over 75% and it's uh, blinking on the 100%. Uh, I have been charging it now for a while and I know that uh, we are approaching uh, close to 90% and uh, the voltage is 13.5 volts and we are getting 6.5 amperes uh, of uh, charge right now. I have now connected my uh, app to the battery. So I, what I want to do now is uh, check that what the battery power solar charge controller is telling me on the screen is accurate to what I'm getting from the battery. And the battery shows me that currently the current that is going for the charge is 6.23 amperes and what I'm getting directly from the LCD screen is 6.2. It was actually showing 6.3 when I started looking at it and it dropped to 6.2. So you know what? This is pretty accurate. Very, very accurate. Well done, battery power. Now the battery uh, is uh, charging at 90%. Uh, there is an estimated time for full charge uh, of one hour and 46 minutes. So we will come back to, to, to that a bit later. But in the meantime, let's talk about 
what I really like so far about this uh, charge controller. So first thing is uh, the mobility of it. You can, you have seen already from the video, I have just taken out now the solar panel uh, because uh, uh, the boat is in the garage and uh, it's quite shady back there. So I couldn't really get a proper uh, sun. However, the mobility of this thing is just incredible. Like I, I just connected the cables to the battery, connected it to the solar charger, and then uh, I, I just connected, the, I took the solar panel out and, and I have put it in that position and I connected it to the solar charger and immediately it started charging. So uh, uh, it, it's super easy to, to charge your battery uh, with this controller. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about the Victron uh, that, uh, that I have uh, permanently installed in my boat and it took quite a while uh, in order for me to, to set it up and, and uh, uh, obviously uh, go to the app and uh, give it all of the uh, settings that it needs uh, in order to uh, charge your battery with this controller. I just literally pressed uh, like uh, the button sometimes and in 15 seconds I had already told it what battery it is, how many volts the battery is and then it does the rest for you. So super simple. So simplicity, that's, that's the one thing. Um, mobility, the second thing. And then the security, which we need to talk about. And the security is something that uh, battery power is uh, taking really big pride in. So uh, it has uh, an overcharge protection. Uh, it has uh, reverse polarity protection. And uh, also uh, it has over temperature protection, among other things. I, I'll put uh, up here all of the security benefits that uh, you get by using this uh, solar charge controller. So. Overall, uh, with uh, my use now for a couple of hours, I'm super happy with the way that this is working. Um, I don't know because it's rather uh, late. It's, uh, it's approaching uh, eight o'clock in the evening. So I don't know for how long I will be getting kind of full sun, but uh, I will be here for a while. So I will keep charging the battery and see uh, how uh, the, the charger is performing. But uh, as I said, so far, uh, super stoked with it. Really good job, battery power. Couple of hours have passed. Unfortunately, I have to uh, get going very soon. So uh, I need to stop uh, filming here. The battery is almost at full charge. Uh, it has really been working really well. I have been uh, uh, checking the, uh, the controller uh, for any uh, kind of high temperature on it. There is no uh, high temperature. Uh, it works really well, really great, really happy with the product. So uh, I can only give it a really big thumbs up. Highly recommended. Uh, if you're interested in buying it, go to the link down below. Uh, you will find uh, uh, the link to purchase uh, this uh, awesome charge controller. Please use uh, the off boat uh, code so that uh, you can get uh, a, a small discount. That's all that I have for you for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.